Hi, Willie. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, Willie Lopez. I'm from Chicago. Um, and yeah, I love it here at Ambrose. Yeah, what are you, what are you doing here at Ambrose? Uh, I'm here studying exercise science, pre-physical therapy, and I'm looking to go into the physical therapy graduate program here at Ambrose. Okay, that's super exciting. So you obviously are from Chicago and you found the Ambrose area. What brought you here? Uh, I came here to play football. Um, and I just love the community here, like the small feeling. I went to a small high school. Uh, so yeah, it's like the small community. Yeah, so you know, it was kind of a part of something that you knew brought you here. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you were uh, into vintage clothing. Uh, yes. What does that look like for you? Uh, so I actually am a co-founder, co-owner of 568 Vintage. Uh, it started up in 2023. Um, and we have a store front opening uh, with another uh, student at Ambrose. Uh, so we're super excited about that and looking forward to that. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, how did you get into vintage clothing? So I got into it. I've always been into like thrifting, into like secondhand shopping, secondhand. Um, just because like all the cool stuff, you can find all the unique stuff that you know other people aren't really going to have. So it's almost like a way to have your own style is how I saw it. Um, and then eventually when I like became more and more and more like into it, uh, I decided, hey, maybe I can sell things that I know are worth money um, and that maybe I personally don't like, but I can use as like a source of income while I'm here at Ambrose. And ever since then, I've taken off with it. Yeah, well, that makes sense. So you turned your passion for, uh, you know, kind of the unique stuff that you can find in the you know, dollars. So yeah. that's super exciting. Yeah. yeah. Um, so was there any aspect of uh, kind of reselling your vintage clothes that you found that was more so like getting away from like fast fashion and all those things like that? Yeah, um, I mean, there's like fast fashion everywhere and like even at thrift stores you see like the modern tags. Uh, but like to get away from, like getting away from it, um, that was another reason because like I mentioned, like there's not as many people who necessarily have this exact shirt but another downside of it is that fast fashion is now reworking like vintage clothing so um, I don't know if people like ever be able to get away from fast fashion but uh, like shopping secondhand and like mm -hmm. buying vintage clothes is definitely what it is. Yeah, so you definitely are seeing the market kind of trend a little bit yeah. back towards those big brands, but it's still a way to stay unique and stay uh, sustainable. Yeah. I guess this makes sense. So um, have you ever thought about kind of how um, all these clothes that you're selling are preventing companies from doing all this mass producing and keeping all these like polyester filled clothing kind of like out of landfills and making sure that we're not being wasteful as a society? Yeah, for sure. So like a way I think about it sometimes is like, I will buy this shirt um, and so I'm like the first person who stops maybe someone else from buying that same shirt but let's say from a from like a fast fashion big company um, and then someone else will buy it from me so then that's I just like that chain and then like continuously having that happen and just pushing away from fast fashion. Yeah, for sure so you know kind of making sure that we branch that chain away from these big corporations to kind of break up that revenue income yeah. a little bit to slow that down, if that makes sense. Um, what are some of your uh, favorite like vintage pieces? Like, are you more into shirts and stuff like that or? Uh, I'm definitely like a crew neck sweater person, but I like, I love shirts because there's, once again, it's like so many shirts, there's so many different options to come from, like to come to see. Uh, and it's just cool to see like, it's like a piece of history. Um, like when you look at like the, the dates of the clothes and stuff, it's super cool. So but yeah, I'd say sweaters, um, but also love mm -hmm. t-shirts. Yeah, no, for sure. So, you know, you just kind of into a lot of the tops. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I feel like, I mean, the shirt you got on now is pretty yeah. cool. So yeah, yeah, of course. Um, Have you ever thought about how like bringing these clothes back from like olden days when, you know, a lot of clothes were 100%, you know, like real, like cotton and mm -hmm. like these full like natural sources. Um, have you ever thought about how that is helping pull away from the fast fashion trends? Uh, honestly, no, I really haven't. Um, that's like definitely something to consider, but pers me personally, I haven't uh, thought about it to that extent besides like what I mentioned earlier, yeah. just like finding, mm -hmm. pushing away from fast fashion. Oh, that makes sense. So still just trying to get away from all these big corporations and yeah. doing all this stuff. Yeah, no, that makes sense a lot.
lot. Um, so how, uh, with this storefront opening, what do you guys hope to do um, with that in terms of making sure that we like keep recycling clothing and not just making all the stuff that we wear for a year and throw away? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, one of the main things that like we're striving to do is to pick out, to have like a wide selection so people can have um, pieces that are slightly damaged, they can have uh, super like high end, um, you know, what's the word? High end, like, uh, like premium clothes, like that will last, that don't have as much wear. Others have different wears. So it's kind of just having like the range of wares um, all the way up from like, it has seen its fair share of wares yeah. and like you can wear it for many more years. Mm -hmm. uh, that's definitely a way you should keep, um, just keep it, keep it going. That makes sense. Yeah, so making sure that we can kind of get the most out of our clothes right. rather than buying the stuff that's gonna, you know, you're gonna wear until the wheels fall off. Right. It's not very long. Yeah. That totally makes a lot of sense. And um, another thing you mentioned is like, some of the clothes like, back then definitely have longer life <laughs> than different <clears throat> clothes now, like, as far as like shrinking or uh, tears, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Just, they're just made different. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, I feel like that's the common theme is stuff yeah. that's made better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so obviously you have the storefront opening up. Um, what does, have you done stuff that kind of spans outside of the community in terms of reselling or like is it mostly kind of local? Uh, it, I've done some outside of the community, uh, mostly online stuff. Um, we're looking into like uh, donating like a percentage of our proceeds to certain places, having certain events, uh, just to, like help the local community and even like spread out to yeah. more like a global community. Um, and so through your online selling, you've tried to make sure that we can kind of spread the funds around yeah. and everything. That, that makes a lot of sense. Um, what was the farthest you've ever had to ship something? Oh, Canada. I shipped a hat to Canada. That's probably the farthest. Um, other than that, you know, Florida, California. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if not Canada, then California for sure. So you're just all over the place. Yeah. That's, awesome. That's kind of cool. It's got to be yeah. cool to see. It's really cool. Label. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, like, it'll show you your package labels, like, mm -hmm. Your packages have traveled a certain amount of miles. Oh, that's so pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool to see. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, have you ever thought about how, like, with, with your shipping things, like how to make like that area a little more sustainable, or have we kind of? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, I started out with poly mailers, and I still have some, but recently I've switched to like flat or uh, paper mailers, um, which I think is a bit more sustainable. Um, so that's definitely one way, mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, I think that's probably the biggest way to, for shipping and just switching from plastic mailers to yeah. more of a paper. For sure, so kind of keeping that sustainability from end to end. Yeah, yeah so overall, uh, you're Willie from Chicago, yep. came to Ambrose because you wanted to play football, uh, fell in love with the small community, um, as well as vintage clothes and reselling it and making sure that you can take all the steps you need to better the community and keep clothes out of landfills. Yeah, makes sense. Thanks, Willie. Yeah, thank you.